this is really strange okay so as i was trying to fix the camera y'all and i'm using another camera because that camera is being funny and i'm uploading the first half of the video i did get the mother and the father card is where we left off this whole thing's a mess so the mother card came out missing and i know this camera isn't as good as the other one but just bear with me and alcohol with the father okay i'll try to get one more card out of this and we were going into our killer cards the video just cut off weird I don't know Rogers is the last name tell me about Sebastian Rogers it was a really good one too I'm really upset police plans Weapon, random area, investigation, and multiple people. Okay, that's what I figured. Please excuse the quality. We're going to get it done, though. This is the um, second half. Okay, also, these cards came out, friend home, father, drug, outside, and as you know, we did get something about this going on. All right. Conclusion here. Let's go into our killer cards. That's what we were doing. Just bear with me on this camera situation. Interview the killer. Yeah, I believe it was some, the stepfather has something to do with it. Okay. We start looking into his maybe phones or computer. That's what it's saying. Like, um, there's something in his phone or his computer. Maybe a couple more. All right. I don't know um, how far the video went. We had some really important cards come out. And um, explanations to his case and his story. Okay. Oh, Lord. Let me take a drink. I think I was saying in the last video about how we really need to protect our sons as well, everyone. It's not just the daughters who are being victimized. Okay. Let me, and nine times out of ten, not all the time, but if they're doing physical abuse, they're probably doing some other things. I want to verify that, though, because I definitely know he was abusing them, but I'm getting more like physical and verbal more than you know what. So let me see. Let me verify. Okay, I am going to go with my cards. We are looking at an essay situation and also an abuse situation. I'm just baffled because I got that he basically got with the mother out of 
being an opportunist, like there was something else he wanted, not her. Okay. And sometimes these men do get with women. You know, we've heard these stories a million times for their children, not for them, but to just come in, govern the house, play like their king and all that, you know, run havoc in the home, you know. We've heard this a million times. It's not nothing new. Um, he keeps telling me about water. I don't know the significance yet about the water, but I feel like they did take him off somewhere. They have really hurt him. And um, let me verify that. Now you got me questioning myself. I know they took them way off somewhere. I know that. All right. Miss Christian Rogers, deceased Miss Christian Rogers. No longer with us. It's just going to go on the storyline, I know. Miss Christian Rogers, no longer with us. Okay. Helper. I believe the mother got something to do with hiding stuff. I know that. Learning, you know, unfortunately, we got that card, travel, talking about how you felt, y'all, I feel the stepfather did something to him, I'm just going to say it, all right, oh gosh, these are just getting harder and harder. Tell me the truth. All right. Video all, all the way broke up. It has something to do with a case. Hidden pieces. Um, information that's being tampered with. It's kind of like. If you were watching a movie. And it was showing the whole truth. Nothing but the truth. And then static kept coming in like shh like that and I think that's what the readings picking up on the cameras are going crazy and um it's basically how the story is being told all right again I've told you guys do not match up my readings with the media or anything they write or the FBI or the police or any of them because it is not nine times out of ten gonna match up because we tell the truth here over at crime tv now we can also see the things they cannot. All right. So obviously you may be in spirit, Sebastian. Which is why I'm getting you coming in right here to me. Or you just want your story heard. What's the deal with you? I must know. Let me try with the these cards and see what we get, y'all. Okay. There is a very High likely chance, I'll say it like that, that he is already um, transitioning somewhere in water, near water, by water. Water is very significant. If, um, he's telling me what I think he's telling me and um, the way he's been coming in too as well. All right. Stepfather, mother, what do you know? Are you coming up, you know? He wants to be found. All right. I know you're covering up some other things. Now, this better not be me, but what?
this better not be me now. I'm praying it's one of these viewers. But also we could be looking into is the mother expecting? Is she trying to have another child to replace this child? What in the world is going on here? Okay, tell me more. Tell me about Ashley Rogers. Don't y'all ever wish that on me again. <laughs> See, this is what I think that home was lacking patience with him. Mm hmm. Go ahead and talk about it, Sebastian. You feel like since you were born, I believe this is what it's saying since he was born, too, that they didn't have patience with him. Okay. Please excuse the camera. Tell me about Sebastian Rogers. And I know they took a far somewhere, y'all. Yeah, they did. And he felt distant in that home as well. Like he was isolated. As far as a form of punishment. Wow. Talk about narcissism, right? That's how you punished him, locking him in rooms and isolating him from everyone else. I hope you know that's abuse. Took him way off somewhere. We want to know where he is. This happened at night. Yeah, we're going to take our time. We're going to take the steps it takes to learn more and more about what's going on. Okay. And we'll just take a breather. Back off. Come at it again. Back off until we get what we need. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. And I do just a little meditation for him. I think we're going into our 40 minutes. 50 minutes um, time frame here when we, of course, have one video attached to the other video since um, spirits like to describe things exactly the way it is. Someone's kind of telling what's going on, but then um, it's interrupted somehow not being able to tell the truth, Okay. So to me, that's two people hiding things, trying to stay on the same page, and they're unable to keep the same storyline going. They are covering for one another. All right. And I agree. Sebastian, I pray that this camera is not interrupted. It's not the best quality, but we're going to get you in here anyways. And we keep moving on Crime TV. We don't care if there's a tornado. If we're in the middle of a reading... We're going to get it done. All right. I just, again, I'm going with if Sebastian is not transitioning, if he is not deceased, he is not well. All right. He is not, he's not well. I'm going to, um, Make sure of that first, folks, for the heart sakes of everyone else. But you know me. I got to tell you the way it is, all right? I'm going to go more into what was going on in that home because I don't want to stamp approved that he's deceased and start breaking hearts. Am I feeling good about it? No. And y'all know I'll tell you the truth. I don't. I don't have a good feeling about it. Wherever he's at, he's very, very hurt where he is deceased, all right? But for heart's sakes, I will not channel his spirit just yet because um, that's heartbreaking for people who have hope, you know. And the same thing with Jocelyn, I had probably got a couple people upset because a lot of people don't want to hear that, y'all. Even if it's true, they don't want to hear it, you know. So um, we'll go past that, all right? I just feel like he was on him about everything. He always felt like he was doing something wrong. 
Oh, God, this is heartbreaking. Okay, I feel like this particular condition, I don't know what it is, y'all. I'm not an expert. Don't start, all right? But um, I feel he was unable to voice his feelings. Is that a part of it? Like, um, I want to say how I feel. I want to get across what I'm thinking and going through, but I can't put it in words. That's what I keep getting. So he would do something like rock back and forth because he doesn't know how to really communicate or put feelings into words um, where someone would totally understand what he's saying. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm trying to make sense of this. I want to say how I feel, but I can't. I can't get it across. So I just tune out. I just don't even do it, and I just rock back and forth. I don't know how to get it out. Even with me trying, I don't even know how to get it out. Um, this is really sad. Gosh. Okay. Um. So when I would do stuff like that, it would anger him because I don't know how to speak up for myself. I don't know how to put into words what I'm thinking or feeling most of the time, especially if I'm really stressed or upset, okay? And most of the time I get in the fire, be like, think about what you've done, you know, and then shut the door on him. And he's not allowed to come out. So he just sits in there, kind of rocks back and forth. That's his way of dealing with his emotions. I don't want to cry. Oh my God. I'm just going to say that you're a real bleep to bleep to bleep. I can't say it. Uh, stepfather. Yeah. Um, mother, you would see this. You wouldn't do anything about it. You wouldn't say anything to the stepfather. Um, both of you are in fear of this man. He's very explosive. He's um, very domineering. He's scary. When he gets into these rages these uncontrollable moods where he's frustrated okay and the drinking doesn't help because then that becomes violent so i feel like when he's not drinking he's more verbally abusive more than he is physically okay i think this night was a blowout he was drinking things got out of hand anger went out of control some things were said um, to Sebastian. He blew up. I just keep getting, he blew up. He blew up. Oh, my God. Um, Sebastian does not know how to verbal, verbally communicate what he's thinking or feeling most of the time. Especially when he's really stressed. <laughs> he's saying all I could do is see he was very angry. He was very angry. Okay, I do get where he took you off somewhere. I do get that. I'm trying to see if you were hurt inside the home or was it like away from the home? I don't know why I'm getting both. So he was hurt at the home and when he took him outside the home, okay? Mother, you just sit back because you're scared. That's not a good excuse though. You seen that your son was in distress and you did nothing to help him. And you're still covering for this, uh, I'll just say person before I get bleeped out again. All right.
I didn't know what to do. I just took off running. Okay. Is this where I think maybe you hid or something? Because they're saying something about bushes or something crazy. Um... I did get he tried to hide from him somewhere, somewhere dark. That only angered him worse. I just get you bullying Sebastian. You 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 bully this boy. It's not right. There's evidence. Oh gosh. Um the stepfather's keeping something. There's evidence. Maybe I feel like we'll have a confession down the line. He's um what's the word? Over overdone by guilt. Some things that he knows that happen. Go on and telling yourself something you're holding or keeping is, is definitely evident. I know that you've hit this boy, you've abused this boy, you've smacked him upside his head, you've done things like this, I know. Um, maybe some admissions of guilt of abuse. Okay, what I'm seeing, I don't like the way that Sebastian reacts to it. Is he um kind of screams and cries? You are on my hit list. I know it's you. You stuff. I think you got something really significant to do with this. Yes, you do. And you have something hidden away. Like I said, something you kept that I know is, is sure enough evidence. Get that you did run somewhere and hide. He was coming after you. I know he was very, very angry. I feel he found him wherever it was. This is when I feel things went overboard, if you want to call it that. It's time for you to come forward. You you have hurt this boy. And you've hurt him before, too. <sighs> okay. We'll be looking for a confession. We'll be looking for evidence coming out on you. And, um, yeah. Hmm. In the meantime, Sebastian, we will keep hope alive. We will not just go ahead and write this off just yet for the sake of other people. I do know how I feel about it. I do know how my cards feel about it. But for the sake of other people's hearts and feelings, I will um, keep this candle lit. And um, 
we'll just keep praying that you have a safe return and um, that your stepfather knows that he's done things that um, he needs to come clean about. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so does your mother um, as far as her letting things go on. So, all right. With that said, this is the reading for Sebastian Rogers, and he wanted his story out. So, if I get anything further, I will put it in the updates. Thank you for being patient for whatever phenomena was going on with the cameras. Um, stay tuned. I'll try to get to Jocelyn and Madeline Soto. And again, you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all those beautiful things. The donation links are up. Again, thank you so, so much for watching. And let's just keep praying for Sebastian and for the best. And let's not let that stepfather off the hook because he knows some things, okay? And the mother too. So keep that in mind, all right? And y'all have a beautiful, beautiful night.